Hello everyone, welcome to another upload. This is not your usual sports slash track and field video. Instead, I'm asking what are your opinions on Sizzla burning DJ Khalid's plaque? Have you heard, have you seen the social media posts? That's what we're going to be discussing in this evening's video. So let's get straight to it. Bad blood appears to be brewing between reggae dancehall artist Sizzla Kalonji and longtime collaborator American record producer DJ Khaled. This after Sizzla posted on social media videos of himself burning two plaques reportedly sent to him from Khaled's team. The plaques commemorate two of Khaled's albums gaining platinum certification and were presented to Sizzla for the part he played on the projects. However, in the videos now circulating online, Sizzler dubbed the gesture a diss to him and the people of Jamaica, saying he could hardly see his name on the plaques. Tearing the face of Khalid's eldest son, Ashad, from the plaques, Kalonji declared that babies are innocent before proceeding to throw gasoline on the rest of the material. Referring to the child as his god child, the Ronald Pandem DJ said he'd rather accept the photos of Khalid's son as his plaques than the commemorative displays sent by the Recording Industry Association of America. The footage has triggered a lot of discussions on social media with users expressing shock at the reggae singer's action. Some users believe Kalonji went overboard and said he should consider that DJ Khalid is one of the few international artists who extensively feature Jamaica acts on projects. One Twitter user was quoted as saying, Why feel this level of ignorance and hatred? DJ Khaled has only ever shown Jamaican artists and culture's respect and loyalty. I hope Khalid hears the message loud and clear. Your admiration is not welcome. Let the culture rot continue. Dancehall producer Scatter Borrell was quoted as saying this is not a good look for the industry. Scatter noted that while Sizzler may feel insulted, Khalid as an international producer who does not need to feature Jamaica acts on his projects. As a featured artist on a compilation album that went platinum, I understand how he feels. However, one must remember this is Khalid's project he's been doing for years and also has the biggest artist in hip-hop example, Jay-Z, Drake, Kanye, Lil Wayne on this album. For any dancehall artist to be featured on this, it is something to be extremely proud of and celebrated. Until we as a people are able to market our music and show support for our own, we will forever be relying on others to lend that support. And he posted this on Instagram. Scatter went on to say that he hopes Sizzler's actions have not jeopardized future opportunities for other local acts. So I am here wondering, was Sizzler's action really because he could have hardly seen his name on the plaque? Or is there something else that we're not privy to? Is there other information that would have triggered his action that we are not privy to? What do you think? Could Sizzler have handled this differently? Will this negatively impact the industry and other artists in the industry? Leave your comment. I want to hear from you. Until my next upload, take care.